The holidays are often a time of joy and for families to be together, but for many people, they are also times of anxiety and hunger. KSBY's Aaron Faye spoke with a local organization that's packing up something special for families in our community in a story that is positively Central Coast. A local organization is working to assemble Thanksgiving dinner kits for some Central Coast families who may otherwise go without. I hope that the families that get these really feel the food and the love and the care that their community has for them. Ann McDowell is the president of the South San Luis Obispo County Women's Aid. She says the organization collected over $5,000 worth of groceries. Volunteers then worked to put everything together. Outside of the holidays, the organization provides food to the Lucia Mar Unified School District so students can have food on the weekends. When some of these kids go home for the holidays and take a break, they don't have food because they're getting a lot of their food through schools. So this helps them get through the holidays. Last year, Women's Aid gave out 65 Thanksgiving baskets, and this time around, they're giving out more than 130. The donations came from the community as well as grants from the local government. Well, you know, it's been really hard uh, this year uh, because of COVID. The last three years were hard, and then this year just compounded everything. We have a number of ways we got families for this program. Some is through the county's early learning program. Some is through Capslow's Head Start, and some is through the South County Youth Coalition. The families will receive three bags. One has chicken or ham, another has vegetables, and others have ingredients like oil and cake mix. Volunteers pack the kits and drop them off at seven distribution centers. Then the families can go and pick them up. They are loved and respected and that they are people just like everybody else. And we are all just one tiny little step away from where they are. Aaron Fay, KSBY News. Well, Women Aid is now done with their Thanksgiving initiative. They're now looking ahead to Christmas and expecting to make about 80 kits for that holiday.